We're doing things a little different today. We got treadmill speed work today. I sent Chris the workout from my run coach, Larry Track, which consisted, I believe, of six 800s and two 400s. It's definitely a lot, but we're gonna go pull up to Brick House right now and see what Chris has in store for us today. I know today is not gonna be an easy workout. It's gonna be a fucking grind, but hey, that's what we do, baby. Let's go. Doing it is one thing. Recovering is a whole different story. It's it's the yeah. <laughs> So that was my first day breaking in those Dorfin Elites. Honestly, those are the best fucking running shoe. Considering that it was my first time wearing them, like the thing I love about those shoes is usually, I feel like with a pair of good running shoes, you need to wear them a couple times just to break them in. The Endorphin Elites, maybe it's just for my foot, but you don't even feel like you need to break them in. They just fucking work right off the bat the first time around. There's something about like running four and eight hundreds. It's like you just have no choice. Like once you're midway through or halfway through, you're like, fuck, you have to just kind of figure out or find that place inside of you where you're just like, all right, yo, I got to lock in. I got to finish this out. And like, it's crazy the reward that you feel afterwards. Going to head home now, fire up a little bit of post-workout brekkie. And then we're linking up with my dad. He's got a little bit of office work stuff to do. I'll probably just maybe like pop in and out, but I'm just gonna spend the day with my dad today, hang out, make some food, spend some quality time. See you back at the crib. What is it about dads and just not being capable with their phone. Bro, like, will pocket dial me all the time, call him, no answer. I call him, it'll be like weird noises, pick up, then hang up. I've been calling my dad for literally the last 45 minutes, trying to find out if he wants breakfast while he's on his way over here from Kai's because I'm chefing up a brekkie. We've got breakfast potatoes going, the butter is down for the eggs. Three eggs going down, boom. Got the bacon going in the air fryer. fleece pants. By far the most comfy pants I've ever done, for sure. I got a sample flannel on. Flannel's in the works. Shout out my boy, Zach, from Psychoactive, underneath. And then a little chrome trucker. Got a little package in the mail. You guys know it's running season, heavy time regular season right now. So I did a little Nike order the other day. I was like, you know what, I need some new running gear. But I just wanted to get some basic stuff, you know? Some weatherproof Nike run tights. I'm gonna be in Boulder, it's cold there, so maybe I'll get a run in there. And I just got, oh, this is like a Nike cutoff compression. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow for boxing, but I actually have a way more shit coming. I thought I was gonna be doing some like big open thing for you guys right now, but I guess not. Gotta go drop my dad off from yoga, come back, pick up Kobe, then go down to the factory, go to the office, then come back, have a little day with my dad, so. All right, that's where you go. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your yoga yeah, class. Well, thank you for setting up. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. I'll get your water and also uh, make sure my phone. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, how do I go to call a car? Okay, you know what? I'm you going. don't have your phone? No, I don't have my phone. So obviously I want to showcase what I got going on at work here and there, but at the same time, I got to be diligent with not like putting a camera in front of people's faces, especially when we're having like serious business talk and shit like that, you know? But the day when I get to the office consists of checking in with customer service emails, talking to Tran about any changes that we need to make to the website, whether it be rearranging products and whatnot, talking about what we have planned for the next drive, calling my suppliers, going and running around, going back and forth between each factory. It's just daily maintenance work. It's not really stuff that, I mean, maybe I guess people would want to see. I feel like I'm trying to vlog as much as I can, but like, you know, there's only so many hours in a day and I'm just trying to get shit done. Imagine if I had to like set the camera up every single time and vlog this and that. So I hope you guys have been appreciating that. I've been trying my best to show as much behind the scenes as possible. I'll get better and I'll probably, you know, develop more content behind that kind of stuff once I get the hang of it more, but just wanted to kind of address that. 
Well, today is actually the last short day of work because it's my dad's last day before he heads to Asia tomorrow. I'm gonna head home and meet him. He just finished his yoga class. We're gonna do some grocery shopping together and we're gonna chef up a nice little dinner tonight. And I invited Jared to come through. So we're gonna do a little, you know, friends and fam gathering. So I will see you guys back at home. Should we go do some grocery shopping? Just go inside. So I just ordered a crock pot. I'm yeah. learning to make stews now, so yeah. he's just teaching me a couple things. But we got everything that we need for tonight for our dinner. Gonna head home now, walk Kobe, and I got another workout. I got another run today. I've always looked at the sandwich and wanted to get it. Yeah. But oh, oh, you, you looked at it, you never get it. I just, I don't really eat bread, you know, yeah. that often. You gotta tell me if it's good. Mm. Good? The ham is very good. Let me try a bite. It's not like over salty, you know, sometimes ham could yeah. be. Because cheap ham, they put so much salt to preserve it. Do you know what it needs? A little bit of horseradish. Am I right? Done. You do have a good taste. Like, this is a perfect example, okay? I just took one bite of that sandwich. I could easily eat that whole sandwich right now. I'm hungry. No, because I have to run. So that's where the discipline comes in. We eat after, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm all about eating good and eating what you want to eat, but it's actually more so, less about the what you choose to eat sometimes, but it's the timing, you know? When, right. you, when you choose to eat. So this is about to be a prime example of signing the contract with yourself and having to do it. You know, earlier I was like, all right, I can go log this hour run. I got the energy to do it. But after grocery shopping, taking Kobe for a walk now, bro, <laughs> I don't want to go for this fucking run. I'm tired. Now my legs are starting to feel it. So I have two options. I can either call it or I can stay true to my word and just find it within me to get it done. If I were to do this run, am I risking injury or anything like that? No. And that's where you got to be honest with yourself too you're like okay you really got to listen to your body i'm tired but if i get this run done and eat a really good meal tonight which i'm obviously going to because my dad's cooking and then get to bed at a decent time i'll be okay it's a lot but i'll be okay so this is definitely a prime example of wanting to get this run done and not feeling like it at all i'm still gonna do it but i hope you know you guys use this as motivation for anyone who said they were maybe gonna work out today or coming up with excuses or anything lately and why they can't work out i hope this is you know, some fuel that you needed. I don't know what I was thinking, signing the deal with myself. Oh, I'm absolutely cooked, bro. The interesting thing will be to see how I feel after the run. It's gonna be a slow one. This is this one is really just about building mental toughness. I think, you know, when you're doing runs like this that are super slow paced or even fast, but the ones that you really just don't feel like doing and getting them done, it's not even so much about what it does for your fitness, even though obviously it improves your fitness level, it's more so what it does for here. And I'm telling you that why we do this shit beyond just wanting to look and feel good, building the toughness up here. So see you guys on the road. Let's go. What a fucking journey. But I'm on these runs. I just think about where I was a year ago and where I was a year before that. It just proves doing hard shit or just elevating yourself. It really does take time, but it takes a relentless attitude towards believing in your future, you know? So when I'm logging these runs sometimes, you know, especially when I'm tired, I'll just be like, all right, every single step is one step closer towards the future that you want, you know? That's why we're staying dialed in. Last little push here, and then we got a good dinner waiting for us. God damn, that was a grind. 6.43 miles, average pace, 8.19. Total run time of 53 minutes and 33 seconds. How do you feel about witnessing the work ethic firsthand, chef? You know what, proud of you, son. You know, just before you leave, you said, oh, I'm so freaking tired. But you know what? What you just said, Dad, remember when you used to have the time that you have to get up and go to the market? I was freaking tired. I probably slept maybe four hours, maybe even three. You do what you have to do. It comes from the heart, that makes it very powerful. It's not about overcomplicating it. You just do it. Just, just get it done, right? Mine is the most powerful thing. Your boy is going to shower up and this meal is about to be well deserved. Yes. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about what you're doing here. Now I got steaming, gonna be with spinach and also fresh scallop. That is like my childhood family dish. And 
then we're gonna get some hot oil, garlic, soy sauce, then a little ginger. Then I have mom's recipe, to inside meatball. Oh, I got a little twist. And then I make you this really braised meat stock. So all you have to do, strain, but you need to cook at least another few hours. All this meat inside, vegetable, take it out. Scallop spinach with garlic sauce, Western inspired Chinese meat, saute green beans, Cantonese steamed fish, ginger, green onions, Sichuan style cold tofu salad with cucumber. Check it out, this is the spread. All right guys, we're getting ready to go to Denver right now. It's bright and early. Flight is at 8 a.m. this morning. We're flying JSX, which is kind of like a flying private without all the glam. It's an airline that flies out of a private terminal, but it's just like regular seating. So we only have to show up like literally 20 minutes before the flight. 20 minutes ago, we left the crib. Now we're boarding. Go check it out. This is seating. Standard luxury type seating here. Probably like 14 hours of tattooing in so far. Kind of just all becomes a blur. If I'm gonna open up with you guys and be honest about my tattoo journey, it's been a rather interesting experience. Some good choices, some bad, but I've definitely figured out a way to kind of just like meditate through the pain, you know? And it's crazy because your body will actually just like accept what's happening and the pain will start to kind of go away. Unless you start to hit like crazy spots, like the side of the knee, behind the knee was crazy. Anywhere like up on the inner part of your thigh and shit like that, fuck kill yeah you kind of just sit there and go through it and the next thing you know time just kind of passes and it all becomes a blur i'm gonna head back inside probably got like maybe like three four more hours left of work on the inner part of my thigh Fuck, that's bad, bro. Every second counts. No pain, no gain. Yeah. Two days later. Alright, guys. Two days of tattooing down. I'm gonna head back to LA tomorrow. I will see you guys there. Okay.